Good evening, everyone. Our scripture reading today is from the 28th chapter of the book of Genesis, verses 10 through 19. Jacob left Beersheba and went to Haran. He came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth the top of it reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring. And your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And all the families of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your offspring. Know that I am with you and I will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I promised you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. So Jacob rose early in the morning, and he took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up for a pillar and poured oil on top of it. He called the place Bethel, but the name of the city was Luz at first. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. Has anyone else been having strange sleep lately? Maybe you're having trouble getting to sleep. Maybe you wake up in the middle of the night, your mind racing, and you can't get back to sleep. Or maybe, maybe you're having really odd dreams, kind of like Jacob. For me, it can be any one of the three, or even all three, on the same night. Sleep during this COVID time has its definite challenges. Dreaming, though, it's kind of essential to our lives. When we're little, we dream of being astronauts and ballerinas. When we're in our youth, we dream of getting out on our own. In college, we dream of graduating and starting careers. Later, there may be marriage, children, retirement and travel, grandchildren, lots of dreams. But how do we dream now, today, when life is turned upside down? A lot of our dreams seem like they're on hold, don't they? I know my son who graduated from college in May, his dreams, his plans have pretty much evaporated. He's trying to make new plans in a very different world than he had anticipated. I'm guessing most of us are not living the lives we dreamed of right about now. We are missing out on jobs and internships, summer camps, college orientation, travel. Life just isn't what we thought it would be in this summer of 2020. Much like Jacob in our scripture today, 
Jacob is living an entirely different life and has an entirely different future than he had planned. Think about it. Jacob has deceived and cheated his father into giving him his brother's inheritance. And now Jacob is on the run. I don't think this is what he dreamed about when he tricked his father and brother. I don't think this is what he counted on, sleeping out in the open, a rock for his pillow. No, I don't think it's what Jacob dreamed about at all. But notice, while his life wasn't where he dreamed, God was still there where Jacob was. In the midst of the chaos that life can become, Jacob went to sleep, a rock for his pillow, and he dreamed that angels were visiting him, that God was standing beside him, talking to him, reassuring him, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring, and your offspring will be like the dust of the earth. And you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And all the families of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your offspring. Your dreams may be on hold, Jacob, but it's not forever. There's going to be some work ahead, some sacrifice, some difficult times. But your dreams, my dreams, our future together, they're still in front of us. And God closes with these words, know that I am with you and will keep you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Thanks be to God. Amen. Will you pray with me? God, we do give you thanks. And we remember even in the hard times that you are with us, that you are walking with us through whatever we have in this future ahead. And that when we come through this strange time of COVID, that you will be there on the other side waiting to fulfill all of our dreams and all of our plans. It's in the name of your son that we pray. Amen. Till we meet, till we meet